Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I will be unboxing two new Chanel shoes that I have purchased. But before we get into that, I would like to give you guys an update on the cocoa handle that I unboxed in my previous video. I do apologize. I did not do a good job of explaining the decision that I made and my thought process on whether I wanted to keep the bag or not. So just to give you guys an update, I did decide to keep the bag and I have been using it since. I have been thoroughly enjoying this bag and I have zero regrets on keeping it. Uh, and just to give you guys um, a little bit of background, if you don't know, there were some uh, glue spots on the top of the bag right here on this part of the flap. And um, I called my SA and she said that's glue and it's from the manufacturing, which it it obviously was. It wasn't something that a customer or an SA had got on the bag. Um, it does look like it was from the actual making of the bag in the Chanel factory. And I was able to get the glue off easily without any damage to the bag or leaving any traces or anything. I just used the felt that came with the bag and it came right off. So no issues there. And the second reason I decided to keep it was that she told me she wouldn't be able to get another one for me in this exact combination. And I I didn't really want any other version of the cocoa handle. I wanted a black medium with gold hardware in the chevron quilting. She was able to get it for me and I am very happy. I did not want to return it and have to wait for it to come back in stock and then purchase it with a price increase on it. So that's why I decided to keep it and I just wanted to update you guys and let you know that I am extremely happy with this purchase. If you are on the fence about getting a cocoa handle like I was for many years, uh, I say go for it. I use this bag a lot. I don't use it for work, but I do use it for every day, um, going out on the weekend kind of type of thing. Um, it's not too big to use as an evening bag but at the same time it's big enough to carry around your stuff during the day it's very lightweight the handle makes it extremely user friendly and it's just an overall great bag i do not baby it whatsoever as opposed to my jumbo which pretty much i haven't carried in like over a year and that's not because i don't like the jumbo it's just that with the price it goes for in retail right now I'm just terrified of damaging it because I feel like I would not go back and replace it brand new from the boutique again. So I know that might sound stupid, but that's just my thought process. And so the cocoa handle for me has been like just amazing. I, it, I carry it around all day in the mall or whatnot. It doesn't get heavy at all. Lightweight, user-friendly, gorgeous the handle does stick out and i know that's a point that a lot of people have made about the cocoa handle it's true it is kind of annoying and you do have to kind of hold it out away from your body in order to open the flap comfortably but that's not a deterrent in my opinion if you want to get it i say go for it um the handle will be a little bit annoying and in the way but not to the point where you won't want to use it all right let's put that aside and jump into the unboxing so i got two shoes from chanel and as you guys know i do most of my purchasing from uh, neiman's i just love my neiman's and they always have what i want in stock so i found this pair of shoes right here, which is not your classic espadrilles, it's the mules. And one of the main differences is obviously the fact that the back is open and the type of leather that they used on these shoes. The classic espadrilles are in lambskin, which is very thin and soft, and it's a smooth leather. Um, I have no, I had one of those in the past. I had the um, two-tone beige with the black um, toe cap, and I did not like those espadrilles at all. And I never wore them, and I sold them brand new to Fashion File. And I thought, I never, I'm never going to buy another pair of espadrilles again until the mules came out this summer. And 
I love mules. I'm very lazy. I like to just slip my feet into something and go. Um, plus, the leather on these is different. It's a pebbled leather, and it's a lot thicker than um, your regular espadrilles. And I just love that so, so much. I also got these in a size 39. I'm a, I'm regularly, I'm an eight and a half. And with the previous pair, I went up to 40, which made my feet look too long. And I didn't like the look of it. Um, but 39 is great because the, these shoes do stretch. And like I said, these mules come in a pebbled, not pebbled. Well, yeah, it is pebbled. It's more of a textured leather and it's a lot thicker and I think it's a bit more comfortable than the regular ones. Plus the leather being a little bit more thicker, um, it, your toes don't pop out too much like they do with the regular espadrilles. So that's the first pair of shoes that I wanted to share. Moving on to the second pair, which I'm sure a lot of you will find extremely boring. <laughs> I'm not that adventurous when it comes to shoes. And I have recently discovered that for my personal style, anything two-tone just doesn't work. So I decided to stick with monochromatic. While I was at the store, I saw this color and I fell in love. It's called Dark Beige. And um, this is the SKU number. And um, it's 9B. So I know that the size 9 is because it's a 39. Um, and it says made in Spain right there. I just don't know what B stands for. But anyway, um, you guys are familiar with the uh, construction of the espadrilles. You have your rubber sole, which is nice because it is shock absorbent. Um, but it is very stiff and flat. So it's comfortable, but it's not extremely comfortable because it does not contour to the curvature of your foot. It's just flat and... Um, I think it's about like an inch high, so it gives you an extra inch, but at the same time, it's it's not too high and it's comfortable, but I would not recommend walking in it for several hours. Um, but they are they are comfortable. Not they're not the most comfortable pair of shoes you can buy, but they are decently comfortable if that makes sense. This color is just so gorgeous. I can't get over it. And now I'm thinking of what bag to match with um this it's kind of like a taupe color so they call it dark beige but i it it's ob it obviously has like a gray undertone to it um in louis vuitton and um they have that like they have several bags in that particular color and i think i'm not 100 percent sure but i think that is the closest match to this shade right here but um, nevertheless, very pretty. I'm very happy with these purchases because they're super comfortable. And I know it's super boring and super basic. But I guess that's that's what goes with my lifestyle and my aesthetic overall. I have learned that anything that has two, two colors, two patterns, two tones going on for me is just too busy because bags and shoes are accessories and I don't want them to compete with my outfit. I'd rather want them to complement my outfit and leave me some room to have fun with my outfit, whether it be some color or pattern. Um, so I like that to be within the outfit instead of being on my shoes or on my bag. So I, I think as we grow older, we just kind of start to discover what our personal style is and we're not drawn to stuff that we just like the way that it looks it has to be stuff that goes with how we like to dress and what we like to wear for example I have learned that just because I love the color pink that doesn't mean that I have to wear it in a bag and for me that has been like a major breakthrough I only have one pink bag right now in my collection and I plan on keeping it that way and if I ever crave the color pink, I'll find another way to express that other than buying a pink bag. Just because I have learned that it's not the easiest to match with my wardrobe and it doesn't suit my overall aesthetic as, you know, other neutral colors do. So 
that's kind of like a learning process that I think we all go through with our personal styles. And then the older you get and the more mature you get, the more you are able to identify with your personal style and buy what suits you, not just what you like. Because a lot of stuff is just visually appealing and you are inclined to buy it without thinking of wait will this go with the rest of my with the rest of my wardrobe and my outfit or is it just something I'm buying because I want to I like the way it looks and I want to look at it but it doesn't necessarily work on me that's something that we should all be very aware of when we're making these purchases just because they're expensive and you don't want to end up regretting your purchase I hope you guys found this video useful and entertaining please give this video a thumb up a thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel if you like my content if you want to see more of what i buy and please stay safe until i see you next time bye bye